What Obama's DHS secretary just leaked out will destroy MSM's border narrative for good by US4Trump.com. Whoa, Chris Wallace squirms in his chair earlier today on Fox News Sunday. You see, former DHS Secretary Jay Johnson freely admits they detained and separated children in 2014. Meanwhile, the entire mainstream media narrative just fell apart. So it's true, children have been detained and separated from their families at the border since Obama was in office. President Trump was once again telling the truth and the crooked media was spinning, I would say, not a falsehood, but falsehoods, plural. In a stunning admittance, Johnson tells it like it was in 2014. Moreover, Johnson showcases the Democrats and the media's attempt at creating a Nazi-like picture of the Trump administration in 2018. The truth is, it was in 2014 when the enforcement of the law to separate illegal immigrant children from their parents and illegal, I illegal unaccompanied minors into jail-like conditions began. Wallace starts the segment and says, let's look, because you mentioned it at how the Obama administration and you as Secretary of Homeland Security handled this back in 2014 when there was also a spike in children, most of them unaccompanied coming across the border. You uh, started jailing entire families. Chris then says, in some cases, not a lot, but in some, you separated children. <laughs> in some cases, not a lot, but in some cases, you separated children from their parents in these pictures. Do you see right off the bat, Chris Wallace is lying through his teeth. So in some cases, you separated the children from the parents in these pictures that uh, are putting up that we are putting up from 2014 show pictures of unaccompanied minors in effect jail situations as you look back on what uh, on that did you handle it so well 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 so the obama administration started separating children from their families on the border jay johnson replies well chris without a doubt the images and the reality from 2014, just like 2018, are not pretty, and so we expanded family detention. We had then 34,000 beds for family detention. Only 95 of 34,000 equipped to deal with families. The former DHS secretary says, so we extended it. I freely admit it was controversial. We believed it was necessary at the time. I still believe it is necessary to name a certain capability uh, for families. We can't have catch and release. And in my three years, we deported or repatriated or returned over a million people. Let's just take a listen instead of me repeating it. It's, it's a very measured process. And so the TVPRA in 2008 was put in place to make certain that we treat unaccompanied children. We're talking about unaccompanied children no, I, in a fair way. I, I understand that. Let, let, let's look, because you mentioned it, at how the Obama administration and you as Secretary of Homeland Security handled this back in 2014 when there was also a spike in children, most of them unaccompanied, coming across the border. Uh, you started jailing entire families in some cases not a lot but as a, in some you separated children from their parents and these pictures that we're putting up from 2014 show pictures of unaccompanied minors in in effect jail situations uh, as you look back on that did you handle it so well notice how he says like in other words he's um, chris wallace is saying that they only put the unaccompanied children in detention centers. He's making it seem like they didn't take them away from the families. These children that we have pictures of are unaccompanied children. Do you see how he's spinning it? You know, what a crook you are, Wallace. You're a disgusting human being. 
I can't stand that guy. Well, Chris, without a doubt, the images and the reality from 2014, just like 2018, are not pretty. And so we expanded family detention. We had then 34,000 beds for family detention, only 95 of 34,000 equipped to deal with family. So we expanded it. I freely admit it was controversial. We believed it was necessary at the time. I still believe it is necessary to maintain a certain capability for families. We can't have catch and release. And in my three years, we deported or repatriated or returned over a million people. But again, you can deal with this on the border. You can try different things. We did not want to go so far as separate families, but unless we deal with the underlying causes that are motivating people to come here in the first place. We're going to continue to bang our heads against the wall on this issue. All right, so let's look. Yeah, Chris, yeah, let's look. So, so the former uh, DHS, all right, well, I'll start from here. Jay Johnson replies, well, Chris, without a doubt, the image is in the reality from 2014, just like 2018, uh, are not pretty, okay. The former DHS secretary says, so we extended it. I freely admit it was controversial. We believe it was necessary at the time. I still believe it is necessary to name a certain uh, capability for families. We can't have the catch and release. And in my three years, we deported over a million people. But again, you can deal with this on the border. You can try different things. We did not want to go so far as to separate families, Johnson said, but unless we deal with the underlying cause that are motivating people to come here in the first place. We are going to continue to bang our heads against the wall on this issue. It appears the DNC, Time Magazine, and the mainstream media, all the White House, and the American people, an apology. Or was their goal achieved to make the president and the current DHS secretary, Christian Nielsen, look bad? That was their whole plan. Um, and th there it is. But listen, uh, the whole thing, they were do they're doing this as a, to detract again, to make the Trump administration look bad. Uh, Trump signed the executive order not to separate the families now. Uh, and they're still at it. It's not good enough for them. You have to have open borders for the Democrats now. Now they're demanding open borders. First they were talking about the children, now they're saying open borders. Well, you're not president, Democrats. You don't have a, pres a Democratic president. You have a Republican president in office, and that's why he got elected, because we don't want this trash coming into our country, uh, living off of the American citizens. We have a lot of people here that need a lot of help. There are homeless people. Where's the outrage in that? Just like that idiot, Bill de Blasio, going to Texas to try to be let into those uh, centers. Meanwhile, on the way, they were saying, how many homeless children did you uh, pass by on your way to the airport, you nut job Bill de Blasio? Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.